Hello everyone, my name is Seth Eberly. I'm an arts educator at Silverwood Park, and today I am going to show you how to make some homemade paper flowers that are in bloom all the time. You can take inspiration from flowers that you see as you're hiking in our parks. Keep the flowers where they are. That way they can continue to grow and you can make them so that you can enjoy them at home and think about your hikes as you're at home. You can take inspiration from many different flowers. If you see a flower that inspires you on a hike, you can attempt to make that. It's best and easiest to start with flowers that have larger petals using the methods that I'll show you. But you can also use a field guide, which is what I'm going to use to show you how to make the flowers. All right, let's get started.